Hi, this is Don Swigger from TV for My RV. Today we're going to take a look at solar electricity for your RV. By harnessing the power of the sun, you can get some free electricity. RV solar kits from Samlex Solar come with everything that you need for the installation. You get the solar panels, the charge controller, the wiring, the mounting systems. There are some safety precautions you need to keep in mind when you're working with your solar kits. Anytime you're working around electricity, you want to take care not to short anything out. You also want to take care not to cross connect anything or, or connect it up backwards and put the negative to the positive or a positive to the negative. Also, anytime that you're going to work on solar systems, you want to make sure that they're not under load when you're connecting or disconnecting any panels. That means you need to throw a blanket over them or cover the panels up somehow so that they're not creating a voltage potential while you're connecting or disconnecting them. In our motorhome, we found that one of the easiest places for us to be able to run cables to and from battery compartments and so forth is to use this wall of the walk-in closet. We can mount the panels on the outside of the wall and we go inside the closet and run the wires right down the inside and through the floor. A lot of times people run wires for satellite systems and for solar systems down through the refrigerator vent. We're going to mount the charge controller right in the wall right here. Okay, we've got the hole roughed out, and you can see how the panel is going to sit in there. Now we need to make some clearance on the back side here for our wires to connect. And now we'll put the wires coming from the battery through the hole to the charge controller. We've installed the slip over connectors onto the wires coming from the battery. Now we're going to attach those to the charger controller, making sure we keep the red to the positive and the other one the unmarked one to the negative. One of the things you'll probably find that you have to do is put a Z-bend into the wires because they are fairly stiff and you probably won't have a whole lot of extra room. And then you can put that in place. And then you can peel the protective covering off. And there you go. Okay, we're tightening up the final connection on the batteries, and at this point the charge controller should be hooked up and live. We're up on the roof. You can see we took cardboard from the box, the shipping box, and covered up the panel so that there's no voltage created while we're working up here. You can see I left the drill bit in from drilling up through from inside. I always go through with a real small bit first just in case it's a really bad spot. It's a lot easier to fix a small hole than a big hole. But now that we know where we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and put a hole down through the roof so we can get the power cables down to the charge controller. We're uh, making sure that we color code these so that when we run these down through the hole to the charge controller that we know which one's going to be plus and which one's going to be minus. So we've put some red tape on both ends of the same wire. These connectors are keyed that they can't go in wrong, but you still can't take any chances. And they are marked plus and minus on here, and they're also marked on the bottom of the panel. So it's relatively foolproof, but you still don't want to make any mistakes. I'm going to put the wires down through the whole end of the closet for the charge controller. One thing that does not come with the Samlex solar kit is a way to cover these wires coming through the roof. Now we have on our website, it's a part available from WineGuard and it's typically used for covering coax cables. The two cable cover is perfect for this job, so we're going to use one of those to cover up our cable exit point from the roof. Okay, we're just going to draw around this so we know where to put some silicone down and where we want this to be lined up when we're done. We're not going to cover any, put any roof sealing on the rest of that now until we're done so that we don't make a mess out of getting in it. The standard Samlex kit comes with four Z-Bend feet that get attached to the bottom of the solar panel and then the, these feet in turn get bolted down to the roof. So the next thing we're going to do is attach the feet to the bottom of the solar panel. Okay, we're going to mark the positions 
where the panels are going to be fastened down. One of the unique ways that these panels are mounted is the use of neoprene well nuts. These have a brass slug in the bottom. When you draw these up, it pulls up on the bottom of the well nut and creates wedge in there to help secure things. Plus it also helps to seal up water at the same time. So what we're going to do now is drill half inch holes at each of the four locations about an inch and a half deep and then we'll put the well nuts in and fasten it down. We're going to clean the chips away from the hole and we're going to put a dab of roof sealant down the hole as an added precaution. And then we're going to insert the well nut down into the hole. We're going to repeat that for the other locations. Smear that around there to help seal that. Okay, before we put this panel back over here and cover this up, we're going to put some sealant around this cable entrance cover. Put a dab over top of each screw. Okay, now that we've got that sealed up, we're going to move the panel back over into its position. One more thing I need to point out, uh, even though this is stainless steel hardware, you need to put anti-seize on here because it will, when exposed to the elements and galvanic corrosion, it will get tight into the brass well nut and you'll never be able to get it apart if you ever need to service it. Okay, we got them all started. We're going to draw them down so that the well nuts expand into the holes. Each expansion kit comes with an extension harness that if you need to place the panel further away from the others that you can run and back and connect up to it. You can see that I've added some color-coded tape on here just to, as an extra precaution to make sure we keep the polarities correct. These are military standard weatherproof connectors. We route, routed them back here and we're going to go ahead and cut them off to length. There are two different style branch connectors that come with the expansion kit. They're both compatible, it matters not, they're just from two different manufacturers. One looks more like a Y cable and one is a parallel branch. Either one will work just fine. Crimp the solid connector on, and then this simply slides up through, connects in place, snaps, and then you tighten the weather seal on the back, and it's all finished. So now we're going to go ahead and finish hooking these up. We have the minus in our hand, so we're going to connect this up to the black one and the red one to the red one. We have all three panels connected, everything's secure. The only thing left we have to do is to uncover these and start making electricity. I'd like to point out that there are multiple different sizes of kits available from Samlex. They come in ranges from 50 watts through 120 watts or 130 watts or the newer generation. You can add expansion kits to your system of any size. You can add 50, 85, or 120 and it doesn't matter. You can mix and match up to the total power capacity of the controller itself which is 500 watts. One reason to, to mix and match sizes is to fit the panels to the space you have available on your roof. The smaller panels will fit in more places than the large panels. The Samlex Solar products come with a five-year manufacturer's warranty on everything from the panels to the controller to the wiring and the hardware. It does not cover incorrect installation or other damage, but manufacturer's defects covered five years. In addition, the solar panels themselves have an extended warranty that they will produce at least 90% of their capacity for 12 years and 80% of their capacity for 25 years. At this point, the batteries are fully charged and there's just a small amount of absorption or float current being sent in there. You can see that the status light is showing a solid green, which indicates it's in float mode. We've turned on some appliances to bring the battery voltage down and actually make the solar panels do some work. You can see right now that we're putting approximately 70 watts into the battery system, five and a half amps, and now we're in what they call uh, bulk or absorption mode charging, and the flashing rate changes depending on what the voltage is. As the battery voltage comes closer to full charge, the status light will blink a higher number of blinks to indicate which stage of charging it is in. Buy your RV solar systems and accessories from tvformyrv.com.